what is up everyone we are back with another video for you guys today and in today's video we're gonna be talking about how to acquire self-discipline as well as I'm gonna give you my thoughts on self-discipline so without further ado let's get into it so I'm gonna start off today's video with a uh, with a definition uh, you guessed it the definition is self-discipline so self-discipline means the ability to control one's feelings and overcome one's weakness the ability to pursue what one thinks is right despite temptations to abandon it all right so self-discipline is uh something that i'm i'm personally working on um this is really one of the main reasons why I did this video. Uh, this channel is devoted to you know my journey as an entrepreneur, so uh, I felt it was very important that I shared this uh, with you guys. Um, I feel like uh, self-discipline is just as important as having the right mindset. I feel like that uh, that mindset and self-discipline go hand in hand in in creating. Uh, what is necessary to become a successful entrepreneur um, with that being said um, I, I feel like that uh, self-discipline is just that is just a good habit um, so whether it's a good habit or a bad habit uh, a, a habit in general takes about two months to uh, to get to where it doesn't take any extra thought it's just it's just what you do it's it's subconscious it becomes second nature so let me give you an example of how it could go either way uh, good or bad so let's use an overweight person for example you know it's January 1st they decide they want to lose some weight um, and so they, they're they're motivated they're ready to go and then you know a little bit later someone offers them candy bar so this could go they have two options they could take it or not take it so let's talk about if they take it excuse me so if they take it well then the next time they're gonna have even less willpower because the first time they took it well nothing happened so it's gonna be even harder the next time to decline the candy bar and then that cycle just keeps going and then you know sometimes you can bounce back but other times you know a lot of times you don't uh, you know it gets harder and harder and harder and harder and before you know it the idea to lose weight is out the window the diet is out the window you're back to square one and then you just like I ah, screw it right well let's put that into perspective as an entrepreneur so you have a task that needs to be done so you can either go sit on the couch and watch TV or you can complete the task well, the first time if you decide, you know what, I'll do it later, and you go sit down and watch TV, well then, the next time that task arises, it's gonna be even harder, and even harder, and even harder, and then before you know it, you are, you, you, you went so long, you're like, man, just forget it. And then you give up on the idea to be an entrepreneur and you give up on your dreams and then you're back to square one and you just forget about it or you could go the other way what if the first time someone offered them a candy bar they didn't take it yeah it took a lot of willpower but they did it well the next time it's going to be a little easier and then you remember what I said two months is what it takes to create a habit so after two months time whether it's a candy bar or sitting on the couch it'll get to where it's it, it, it doesn't take willpower it's just something that you do you you know 
you, you don't you're not worried about sitting on the couch you're gonna do work so the self-discipline is 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 extremely necessary in order to uh, succeed because you're not always going to be motivated you're not always going to be driven and that's where the self-discipline comes into play and if you don't have that well it's just going to get a little bit worse and a little bit worse and a little bit worse because that initial motivation in the very beginning it it, it don't don't stay forever so what are you gonna what are you gonna do after that so that's why you got to have self-discipline so with all that being said let's let's get into a couple uh, a couple things that I do um, that help me that are helping me to get to uh, complete self-discipline I don't know if complete self-discipline exists but maybe it does maybe it doesn't I don't know but uh, one of the very first things that I think you need to have uh, is a morning routine so first thing I do in the morning as soon as I open my eyes whether I feel like it or not I smile and then I sit up and I tell myself out loud today is gonna be a good day today is gonna be a good day today is gonna be a good day and I don't just say it I, I make myself feel a good feeling like you know I know this sounds cliche but like take yourself to a happy place and make yourself feel good and that helps me to get woken up a little bit I'm like the furthest thing from a morning person uh, so then I get up you know I get ready you know whatever I don't you know beyond that I haven't really like created different uh, physical things that I do uh, in my morning routine which I only consider a morning routine what you do at your house before you leave so beyond you know getting myself up I don't have any other physical things that I do other than put my clothes on um, one thing I don't do though is I do not look at my cell phone I don't look at social media for the first hour of every day your mind is the most absorbent so you need to try to make that first hour as positive as possible make it as good as possible you don't want to wake up in the morning and be arguing with your wife or your husband boyfriend girlfriend or your kids drive don't let your kids drive you crazy in the morning you know uh, you need to make that first hour count and so one way I do that is by not looking at my phone I don't look at social media I don't look at YouTube no emails none of that if I look at my phone it's only to see what time it is uh, because you don't want that first hour of you being sucked into your phone uh, it's just not good not good so but the next thing that I do and I think that everyone should do is you need some type of daily routine or, or schedule of some sort some type of checklist like a like a daily goal sheet you know what what you want to get done things that you need to get done and then you know have some type of routine things that you do during the day that gets you going and one of the things uh, I have two daughters so I take my daughters to school after I take my daughters to school I drop them off as soon as I leave I do my affirmations I have affirmations so I think affirmations are good some people don't do affirmations but I, I find them helpful uh, but when you know the I think the difference is when you say your affirmation you need to actually feel it don't just say it otherwise it's just words coming out of your mouth you need to feel it like for example uh, I am a multi-millionaire you know feel that feeling of what it would feel like to to be a multimillionaire if, if you're not already there but uh, you know whatever your affirmations are try to actually feel it and feel what that would feel like to be there you know that's the point of an affirmation is to trick your mind into thinking that you're already there and that is gonna help you to pursue that and to get there so um, another thing I do after my affirmations is 
I watch about 30 minutes to an hour, uh, sometimes more, it just depends, of uh, motivational speeches, whether it's, you know, Les Brown, Jim Rohn, Tony Robbins, Gary Vee, it doesn't matter. You know, I just listen to, uh, you know, at, at least 30 minutes of motivational speeches. And then after that, I like to watch successful people, whether it's something like a day in the life of Grant Cardone or a day in the life of Gary Vee or something like that. I like to watch that. It inspires me. And, I, you know, I try to feel that feeling of what it would be like not to necessarily be exactly in their shoes but just that feeling of successfulness I try to feel that uh, feeling if you haven't caught on already I try to feel everything um, but the next thing is you need to set goals if you see me looking down I'm, I'm looking at my notes uh, you need to set goals goals are very very important and not just you know put them in your head you know and kind of have a goal you need to write them down you know not necessarily write them every day you don't have to write them every day uh, I try to write them you know and I and I, and this is another thing I'm working on my self-discipline as well and sometimes I slip up on writing my goals uh, but if you don't write them at least look at them you know keep a copy of your goals and if you can, if you're not gonna write them at least look at them so that way they're fresh in your mind. Um, Denzel Washington had a had a had a cool um, had a cool saying that he says he says dreams without goals are just dreams and ultimately fuel disappointment. So you need if you whatever your dream is you need to have a goal attached to that dream or it's just a dream and ultimately fuels disappointment. And he also says, goals on the road to achievement cannot be achieved without discipline and consistency. So this is another area where uh, self-discipline comes into play. Because without that, you won't achieve your goals. Without being consistent, you know, you need self-discipline to be consistent. So you need self-discipline to reach your goals. You need self-discipline period it's just you have to have it uh, so that was one thing and, and, and uh, Simon Sinek had a, had a had a good analogy for for the purpose of goals he had two people he told one person I want you to walk in a straight line from here to that corner over there and they start they knew where they were going so they start off walking in that direction and he puts a chair in front of them. Well, they go right around the chair and and go to the destination, right? Well, then the next person he tells them, "I want you to walk in a straight line and just go anywhere in the room." So they take off walking, and he puts a chair in front of them. They stop and they say, "Well, well what do you want me to do now?" You put a chair in front of me, and he says, "Well, I, I don't care." So. If you have a goal, when an obstacle comes up, you're gonna go, you're gonna jump right over that obstacle, or you're gonna figure out a way to get around that obstacle in order to get to that goal. So that's why it's important to have goals. Uh, if you don't have a goal, you're just wandering aimlessly, and whenever you hit a roadblock, you're either gonna stop or you're gonna go in a totally opposite direction. So that's why it's important to have goals. All right, so the next thing that, that I feel is very important is uh, you need to commit to someone else. Uh, that's another reason why, uh, another main reason why I created this YouTube channel to, to somewhat uh, hold myself accountable. And I would hope that the people that, that watch these videos, uh, subscriber or not, you know, I would hope that they would hold me accountable, you know. Um, but don't commit to someone that that doesn't care don't commit to your your pothead uh homeboy that plays video games all day because then when you don't reach your goal uh he's just gonna be like oh man it's cool don't worry about it you know then that's what's the point you need to commit to somebody that cares just as much as you do 
that's why it's, this is where like a mentor or a coach would come into play somebody that you know whenever you don't uh, accomplish what needs to be accomplished they're gonna give you a swift kick in the butt to get you back going they're gonna hold you accountable for your actions uh, and, and that's important uh, so the next thing is to work hard in everything so if you you know say if you're still working a nine to five and you're doing the entrepreneur thing on the side you don't want to do just enough to not get fired at your nine to five and then try to give your entrepreneur thing you know a hundred percent because eventually like I said you're not always going to be motivated you're not always going to be driven so what are you going to do when when something uh, comes up and you've been given your nine to five fifty percent or, or, or whatever you working on you've been given it fifty percent over here well eventually that's gonna that's gonna spill over into that too so that's why it, it's a it you need to create another habit of working hard in everything because if you work hard across the board well you're gonna create a, a good habit of of good work ethic so that's why it's important to work hard in everything. Don't just work hard on, on on this one thing over here, you know, because it's never going to work out like that. You need to work hard in everything, and you will set yourself up for success. Uh, the last thing on my list is you need to create small wins for yourself. You know, like say for example, you make a video. That's a small win. Pat yourself on the back. You know, you you made the thumbnail. That's another small win. Pat yourself on the back. Create small wins for yourself, because if you don't, you're less likely to want to do these things, especially if you're working on something that you're not 110% passionate about. You know, that's one reason why everybody says find something that you're passionate about, because then you know you love doing it so it really doesn't matter you know you don't you know it's not as necessary but either way when you when, when you don't want to look at the entire big picture and think I'm only gonna win when I reach that ultimate goal you gotta give yourself small wins along the way let me give you an example so uh, let's say you, uh, your house for example if you have kids you know what I'm talking about uh, man the house just looks like a tornado came through and if you look at the entire house it just seems daunting it's like oh my god I'm never gonna be able to get this house clean well don't look at the entire house look one room at a time pick up one shirt at a time one thing at a time and then when you finish that room you know finish the first room that's a small win move on to the next one Finish that one. That's a small win. Next one. That's a small win. And before you know it, the entire house is clean and you've reached that ultimate goal. So give yourself small wins along the way to help you get to that ultimate win. And that will help you uh, along the way, I assure you. So that is it for today. I hope you guys got some value from this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations for me, put them down in the comments section. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, that's it for today. I will catch you guys next time. Peace.